DEVELOPMENTS TONIGHT IN A HEARING FOR THE ADMITTED FREEMAN HIGH SCHOOL SHOOTER. THE DETECTIVE WHO INTERVIEWED CALEB SHARP TESTIFIED TODAY ABOUT THAT CHILLING INTERVIEW AS A JUDGE TRIES TO DETERMINE IF SHARP SHOULD BE FACING JUSTICE AS A JUVENILE OR AN ADULT. THERE'S A LOT AT STAKE AND AFTER FOUR DAYS OF TESTIMONY WE STILL DON'T KNOW IN WHICH COURT SHARP WILL FACE HIS 55 CHARGES. FREEMAN FRESHMAN SAM STRAHAN WAS KILLED IN THAT THIRD FLOOR HALLWAY BACK IN SEPTEMBER OF 2017 AND THREE OTHER GIRLS WERE INJURED WHEN SHARP SAID HE FIRED RANDOMLY DOWN THE HALL. 4 NEWS NOW HAS BEEN IN COURT ALL WEEK TO HELP YOU UNDERSTAND THIS IMPORTANT DECISION AND HOW IT WILL BE MADE. HAWK HAMMER SAT IN OUR COURTROOM TODAY. HE'S LIVE NOW WITH CONTINUING COVERAGE. Aaron, in the second half of this afternoon's testimony, we heard prosecutors really start to hone in on providing evidence for the Kent factors, which are ultimately what Judge Michael Price will base his decisions on. Uh, this afternoon, we heard the detective read aloud parts of the interview he did with Caleb Sharp immediately following the shooting. We also heard prosecutors start to poke holes in a key defense position. I didn't really care if he was dead or anything, so I left. Cold words in the aftermath of tragedy. Detective Bonnie read aloud today parts of his post-shooting interview with then 15-year-old Caleb Sharp. I asked Mr. Sharp, you don't seem really upset about that, are you? He replied, no. I know I did something for once, and I'm not a failure at it. Words that would make any parent shudder. Bonnie asked, why did you choose that location? Why that hallway of Freeman High School? It was filled with the most people. Any particular people? He replied, no. Detective Bonnie then said Sharp told him he'd thought about doing this for two years. I knew I was going to go to jail. I wasn't going to try to say, uh, oh, they're going to love me or anything. Also today, prosecutors called to the stand a pediatric cardiologist to talk about an echocardiogram. Geogram Sharp received after he was born. She described it as normal. This matters because the defense is trying to prove that Sharp has brain damage from a heart murmur he received at birth, and that's impacting his actions 15 years later. Uh, the hearing wrapped up just before 5 this afternoon. Closing arguments will be next Monday, 9.30. It's not clear how soon after that Judge Price will make his ultimate decision. Aaron.